and thanks for joining this webinar. My name is Talia and I work in the Telemessage Marketing Department. The purpose of this webinar is to show you how our messaging solution works. If I can get the hang of it, then so can you. I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions, feel free to email me personally at taliam at telemessage.com. So in this webinar, we're going to show you how our admin features work and what you can do as an administrator to manage your organization's mobile messaging. We're also going to show you how the telemessage app for smartphones works both with Android and iOS devices. Then we'll go over what you can do in the telemessage web interface. And lastly, we'll show you how to use our Outlook plugin. So some of you are probably wondering, what's the point of telemessage? What can it do for my business? In today's constantly changing workplace, businesses are turning to mobile messaging as an alternative to email. Employers embrace BYOD policies, that's bring your own device, and employers use consumer messaging applications such as WhatsApp, Viber, and Facebook Messenger to communicate with each other. And while there's nothing wrong with any of these applications for personal messaging, they do not provide a way to monitor, secure, archive, or manage messages. Common business requirements in any organization. That's why we've developed an enterprise mobile messaging solution that replicates the friendliness of consumer applications while providing additional tools that businesses need to stay on top of their communications. I just wanted to point out that you can sign up for telemessage on our website or by downloading the app on your phone from the Google Play Store for Android or App Store for iOS. If you need to register for an administrator account, then it's best to sign up from our website. And you would do that by clicking here and logging in here. So I'm already registered as an administrator. When you register for the first time, you'll receive an SMS message with your login details and an email with your username. Here is the administrator dashboard. This is basically where the admin gets everything done. Here you can see how many users you have how many active users you have, purchase message credits, add users, update your profile, or send messages. Now if I wanted to switch to my own user account, I would just click here. So now I'm in my own user account. And then I would just switch back to my admin account. To add a new user manually, we're just going to go here, click on add user. So let's create an account for Christine Rose.
Okay, now that I've successfully signed up a new user, let's delve a bit more into what kinds of management tools I have at my disposal. For example, I can now search for Christine Rose and I can update her profile. I can resend her her password or resend her her PIN code. I can also suspend her account if needed. And if she ever decides to leave the organization, I can also delete her account and she would not have access to, to the system. I can also pur purchase message credits or upgrade the subscription of my users. Uh, as an administrator, you also have the ability to generate reports and export them to Excel. That is a feature that is coming soon. So now that you've seen the admin account, let's move on to the app. If you remember a few minutes ago, I added Christine as a new user. Now I'm going to go through the registration and download process. Uh, this would be the same even if you had downloaded it directly from the App Store. So here we are, we are inside the app and we're actually going to go to uh, Christine's settings first. So any user can decide to choose if he or she wants to receive both IP and SMS messages or just IP messages. And when I say IP messages, I mean messages that are sent using your phone's internet connection, whether it's 3G or Wi-Fi. Uh, one of the advantages of telemessage is that you can concentrate all of your messages in the app instead of using different apps for different message types. In this case, I've enabled SMS so that I can send and receive all my SMS messages within the telemessage application. And that also means that any message that was not sent over the internet, internet will be sent over IP. Here's a list of the user's messages. As you can see, the UI is very similar to other messaging applications, which makes telemessage very easy to use. Okay, so now Christine is going to send me a message. One of the cool features we have is the company address book, 
which is automatically populated so you can easily access individuals in your organization. Sorry, this simulator is just a bit slow, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, now Christine is composing the message, and there I am. So on Christine's end, I can see that this message was an IP message since we both have the app and the two check marks um, indicate that the message was delivered to my phone. Here's my phone. and I receive Christine's message. And now on Christine's phone, you can see that the message was read by me. You can also add attachments, including pictures, videos, and audio files and documents. And of course, uh, messages that are sent are secure and encrypted. Now, let's say that Christine sends me a message, but I don't have any access to data coverage or Wi-Fi. Um, so the IP message can be sent through an SMS. We have the SMS fallback feature, and the message will be sent within a certain period of time. Uh, this makes telemessage a much more reliable system for sending important or urgent notifications than other internet-based messaging systems. So I just want to point out some other features. Uh, I can enable pop-ups or notifications such as vibrate when a new message comes in or blink LED. I can even have messages forwarded to another mobile device. Uh, 
Um, and I can also set a pin code so that the only person who can access the telemessage app would be me protecting any of your inbound or outbound messages. And of course, if I wanted to disable the pin code, I could do that as well. So that's pretty much it for Android. I'm going to show you how the app works in iOS. It's uh, very, very similar to the Android version. Here is our contact list. And here is a list of our active message threads. We can also um, add attachments just like an Android. Okay, so now I'm back in the web interface for users, uh, not administrators, but for users. This is the user dashboard. Each user can view messages sent and received in credit balance. The balance is the amount of money that the user has in order to send messages. Of course, IP messages are free. Uh, you can also send voice, fax, and email messages. So I'm going into the inbox and to the sent items folder. We can see the messages that were sent using the app just previously. Uh, we're currently working on this and we'll be showing unified chat view later on. So this is an upcoming feature. One of the advantages of the web interface is the ability to, co to compose messages directly from your desktop. So now I'm going to send a message to Christine. Um, I can send her an IP message since she has the app. If she didn't have the app, I would be sending him an SMS message, which in case would cost money. Uh, like I said earlier, I can also send her a voice message, fax, or email. So Christine got my message from the web interface, and we see that it's an IP message. And now we see on Christine's end that she received my message.
let's compose a voice message. In this case, I'm going to compose a text to speech message. That means whatever text I write in the body of the message will be delivered to me as a phone call. Okay, so my phone is ringing and it's the voice message that I sent to myself through the web interface. Uh, you could have also attached a pre-recorded voice message and it would have delivered as a call just like the message we had just composed. So any user can manage um, his or her preferences. Uh, for example, uh, you can opt to send IP messages only or IP with SMS fallback. That means that the IP message will be sent as an SMS after a certain period of time. Um, also, you can see your own usage. This is a summary of sent messages and the charge for each, each message. And you can also see the different message types, whether it was an IP, SMS, voice, fax, or email. Okay, here we are um, in Outlook and I'm going to show you the Outlook plugin. This is actually one of my favorite features. It supports all the versions of Microsoft. Uh, all you need to do is download it from our website. Uh, as you can see, it is truly integrated into Outlook and uses the same Outlook forms and doesn't open as a separate client. So um, we're going to send Christine an IP message directly from Outlook. and she received it. And 
I can also see the uh, sent message status. And I can also update my settings as well. Um, I can also manage my um, my replies and have them come into my inbox only or both my inbox and my mobile. In my address book you can see all the different types of phone numbers for my contacts whether it's SMS, fax, or email. Uh, I can also send uh, to my company email groups and distribution lists. And if you have an automatic signature, the server will delete any additional characters beyond the character limit for SMS messages, which is usually 160 characters. All messages sent through the Outlook plugin are sent securely over HTTPS to our servers and are also backed up in our Exchange server as a regular email for audit purposes. Uh, of course, any message that is sent from Outlook is synced to the web interface as well. Uh, we also have a bunch of APIs that you can enable application to person messaging. Uh, just check out our developer zone. You can connect your existing IT systems to automatically send messages with their I APIs, including REST, SOAP, HTTP, XML, SMTP, and other pager protocols such as WCTP, SNPP, and TAP. So I just wanted to thank you for joining this webinar. Our aim is to really develop an all-encompassing messaging solution for enterprises. We believe that your company can easily incorporate a manageable, secure, and reliable, and IT-ready, and easy-to-use service. We have constant plans to improve our product, and we definitely appreciate any feedback. Once again, feel free to contact me, and have a great day.